Ben, good evening. The Alberts who testified here today are not the same Alberts who owned the house where John O'Keefe died, but they are closely related. And according to the defense's narrative, closing ranks. But the truth so help you God. Yes, I do. Thank you. On the witness stand, Chris Albert and his wife Julie both testified they were out drinking that night at the Waterfall Bar and Grill and remember John O'Keefe coming in with Karen Reed, who arrived, they said, with a drinking glass in her coat. I think I laughed and said, <coughs> made a comment like, you're crazy or something just because she walked in with the glass. Neither Chris nor Julie Albert went to an after party at Chris's brother's house where O'Keefe's body was later found lying in the snow. But their teenage son, Colin, he did go. And during cross-examination, defense attorney David Yannetti suggested Colin and O'Keefe didn't get along. John O'Keefe told you that Colin used to flip him off, correct? Not correct. And say F you to him? Never. The defense is trying to make this connection. The owner of the house at 34 Fairview Road is ex-Boston police officer Brian Albert, who has a brother, Chris, who is married to Julie, who is friends with Courtney Proctor, who is the sister of Trooper Michael Proctor, the lead state police investigator on the case. Were you using Courtney Proctor as an intermediary to communicate with Michael Proctor about this case? Objection. I'll allow it. No, I was not. The defense produced phone records showing Julie Albert and Courtney Proctor spoke by phone the day Reed was arrested and the day she was charged in court. What did you discuss? I don't recall. Julie Albert is expected to be back on the stand when the trial continues tomorrow. Live in Dedham, David Beanick, WCBB News Center 5.